and subscribe to Giles and Steve. Right, hello everybody and welcome to what possibly could be the last home match preview of the season. Fingers crossed it's not, but as far as regular league games go, this is it. Watford at home, Saturday, three o'clock kickoff. Well, before we get on with it, we're being sent an actual decent shirt this time, Stephen. We're being sent a Sunderland shirt. So, you know the score by now. Comment below the score prediction. Get ready for this game. And the Preston one, we'll give you it after that. We'll probably just in time, send it out or Just in time for the last time we're going to wear it this season. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> last game, Stephen, we played West Brom. It was a Sunday game. We we'll all hate them. And the lads done really well. They come from behind after an absolute terrible penalty decision. On, well, they thought it was Luke one nine's fault, but it weren't. He, he said he said after the game that he shouldn't have given the referee a decision to make. But anyway, the lads dug in. Geldard probably had his best game of the season. And we won 2 1. Brilliant performance, it, it really was. The, I mean, yeah, the penalty decision, it wasn't a penalty in a million years. No. Uh, but as we've seen all season, the referees are shite. So, but like you say, Luke and I, I suppose he's got a point there. You don't give the referee a decision to make. True. Uh, there was a one early one in that half where um, Abdullah Bar went in. It was a brilliant what he did. He, went, he got himself in between the player and the ball. But I've seen them given this season. Uh, so, you know, you never know what you're going to get with the referees. But like Paul said, from half time being 1 0 down away from home to then come out and give the performance we did in the second half. Um, wait. I said, wait, yeah, we, we, we will praise the performance because we did play very, very well. They did hammer us at times, but. As you've seen, and uh, well, as we spoke about on Sunday, we threw our bodies on the line, and there was just blocks coming in from every different angle. <laughs> Even a West Brom yeah. player flung his body in the block at one point. <laughs> that was a mad one. He done two, two and uh, two off the bounce, then blocks. But like I say, Stephen, the lads dug in the short heart, the short character, and like I keep saying on social media and all, it's similar to the, the end of last season, ended in League One, where they just made a mint charge right at the end, and they're doing the same again. It to me is a big game. Sheffield Wednesday versus West Brom. If, if, if yeah, United win that, then it's in our hands. Technically, it's in our, our hands. I, say, I don't like that. I don't know. I'd rather be chasing. Aye, because we're better on what we're chasing. <laughs> I'd rather be chasing because when it's in your hands, it's yours to fuck up. So, but hey, by the time this video goes out, the game will probably be fucking, it'll be off yeah. time anyway. <laughs> it probably will, it probably not by then. <laughs> but like I see it, um, Burnley had an incentive last night to. Uh, they wanted to be crowned champions, especially at the Eld Enemies ground. And it's similar to West uh, uh, Sheffield United. They want guaranteed automatic promotion. Yeah. Technically, they're, they're not going to get caught off Luton. There are too many games. They've got two games in hand and there's so many points. To, but, but mathematically, they can. Exactly. So exactly. you want to make sure. And hopefully they do it tonight. So that means we stay in sixth. Exactly. And like I say, it'll be in our hands. Like, like I was saying, Stephen, a bit like last season, we're, we're hitting form at the right time. We've got ourselves into sixth. Unlike the team we played on Saturday, Watford, who have had a dismal <laughs> run of form and completely buggered their playoff chances up, which now they've got nothing to play for. No. Um, they are six points away from the playoffs, and I've been arguing with people all week, and it's been doing me nothing. They've been saying, "No, but the six points, they can still do it because they've got six points away from the it Because loads of the playoff teams who are challenging have got to play each other, and someone's going to get points in them games, mm. which means Watford cannot do it. So Watford have got bottle to play for. We've potentially got everything to play for. Um, it's got the makings of a decent game because normally teams that have got nothing to play for they play carefree. Aye, they do. Aye. They do indeed. They need stress on their shoulders <coughs> and it's, it's, you know, just going out and play your stuff. They've got some good players like Stephen. No, oh, definitely. I, I remember um, Saar and Pedro, the both, well, like, the both still are Premier League players, really. Of but obviously, they find themselves in the, the Championship. Another team who's fell away and was expected to get promoted was Norwich. They've, they've dropped away as well. Uh, they can still technically do it mathematically, but you know. Well, they're still they're still in with the yeah, shout. Still but there's, the, there's, 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 to be fair, there's, there's six or seven teams still in with the shout. And then on on Twitter, I put on the Daily Mirror supercomputer predicted supercomputer for you, for the printer who's going to take the piss off the Mac and Max end. Uh, you've, got, you've got to over exaggerate there. Super. Super. <laughs> the predicted Sunderland to be relegated. No, rock, bottom. rock bottom. Absolutely <laughs> rock bottom. <laughs> So, that computer in the bin. So, it, it, no, it, I, I like that. It gives us faith that the computers aren't ready to take over the world yet. No, I, I ah, yeah. So, <laughs> we've still got a few years left on us yet. But no, moving on to Watford. Uh, they're currently 13th in Premier League. Let's see, they've buggered the playoff chances up. They've won 15, drew 14, lost 15. They're on 59 points, which I see is six points behind us. And uh, us, who's on 65 and in sixth. They've scored 52 goals and conceded 51. Uh, the, the last five games, they've lost, lost, drew, won, lost. 
So, like I said, they've had a bad run of form, which has completely blew their chances. They were tipped to be up there battling for the, the automatics in the start of the season because of the squad they've got. They have massively underperformed with right. the players they've got. Like you say, Paul's already mentioned, Jao Pedro. He's got 11 goals and four assists. You've got um, Ismail Assar, who's got 10 goals and seven assists. And can I just, before we go on with the rest of it, Ismail Assar got given the goal of the season, the EFL goal of the no. season, championship goal of the Did season award. started with that. It didn't even get goal of the month on the month that was scored in. So how can it get goal of the season when it didn't get goal of the month? EFL, fucking clueless. They are. But anyway, they've also got a player called Ken, <laughs> Ken Semmer. Midfielder, he's got four goals and he's got eight assists. They're the three main danger threats. Uh, danger threats? <laughs> They're the three main threats. Um, and look, they are capable of... They are capable of very good football. Uh, Wait, when they can. They've got a good manager in Chris Wilder. However, I do believe the camp has been rocked heavily because Wilder's already been told that he's not going to be here at the end of the season. It, wow, how many managers have they gone through? Well, that's, that's, that's well, Watford's that. the only team I know that's had more managers than us. Wow. And <laughs> you, you can't say this, but just walk over and have a look what I've wrote. I've wrote more managers than us, and then look what I've wrote after it. Whereabouts? More managers than us. Wow. <laughs> you just went, wow. That's all I'm just saying. It's crazy. It absolutely <coughs> is the amount of managers they have been through. How they're meant to be a, a stable club. And another thing regarding Sunderland, that's a good thing we haven't spoke about and we probably should have spoke about it earlier. Uh, Sunderland are looking at replacing Tony Mowbray at the end of the season with Francisco for Ryan Are oh, they though? We are did, they? We didn't know. We, we didn't don't know. know. I, told, I seen you do a video the other day and I was thinking... I, I was like, no, you don't, it's just because somebody put it on Twitter. I know he's normally a reliable source of shit. Very but, reliable. But unless it, something comes out of the club or something major, then why would Mowbray get replaced? Someone was going to say, no, he's been no. linked with the Watford job. Fucking everybody, every man in the dog gets linked with the Watford <laughs> job. I've been linked with the Watford job because they're running out of freaking professional managers. Uh, well, listen, if it wasn't from anybody else, I wouldn't have even bothered doing the video. But he gets stuff nine times out of ten, he's bang on. So I thought, yeah, listen, there must be some meat on the bone unless... Why would he be tweaking that, you know what I mean? But like you say, until it comes out the club, then it's not guaranteed. But you cannot be sat in Mowbray, or replacing Mowbray, should I say. You didn't know if he's going to retire or whatever, which I doubt. You, you, he's got 12 months of his contract to start with. But the only thing I would say is, if there's any truth in it and all that, and obviously after the season we've had, he's only 34 year old, mm -hmm. bring him in working under Mowbray, and then if Mowbray does intend to see his contract out, no. then... You know, you get another squad, get another things. But like I say, we didn't know what's happening no, with that. We didn't. And apparently, uh, we've got to keep an eye out for nine nine a.m. Nine a.m. Yes, Thursday morning. There's going to be an announcement. There's some of the speculations unreal. I've, I've seen on there. Apparently, there's net. Obviously, net, they're announcing Netflix, the All third right. instalment of Sun Until I Die, uh, which we knew was coming anyway because they've covered the last season in the we, playoffs. We've seen, we've seen the cameras all over the place. Yeah, they covered this, this last the end of last season with the, obviously the playoff success. Um, you never know, they might be hanging on to see some playoff success this season. Oh, but it's Ross Stewart oh, but I've seen people saying it's Ross Stewart. Ross Stewart. Now that would be a good one. It, it would be, it would be, aye. Right, so moving on, Stephen. Yeah, wait. Well, I'm more nervous about the Saturday's game than what I am about the, away, the last game of the season. That's in, in, in a, it's our home form that, that does us in. That's a, do you know what, funny enough, do you know I was speaking to <coughs> No, I was speaking to Adir. Do you know that the, the man who attacks his bands to every home and away game? Yes. I was speaking to him Adir, right? And he was, I was saying that exactly the same thing to him. The home form worries me. I, I, if, it were on, if it was only the last game of the season where we had to win and it was away, I wouldn't be as bad as what I am. For some reason, our home form has been crap all season long compared to what it should be. And our, our away form has been much, much better. So I, I'm a bit more nervous for Saturday. And I, I do believe as well, it's, it's obviously the fact that if you go back six weeks, mm. we were thirteenth. Uh, we all thought, right, it's done. A month ago, it's we were done. 11th. Aye, and then, we, and then we've, we've just crept up and crept up, and obviously with results, mad results going out, going uh, in our favour, we've now found ourselves in the playoff spots. More credit to Tony Mowbray for that, though, isn't it? Oh, right, and the lads. I mean, I've seen a lot, there's still a lot of people petty arguments online on Facebook and all that. Kids, oh, for all those numbers who don't want promotion, it's not the case that people don't want promotion. People are just simply saying that if we don't get it. They'll still be happy with how the season's turned out. Right. It's not a case of like it's promotion or bust. That's, I no. think that's what people are trying to get at. But hey, Aye. who cares? And I agree. We are said the same to that guy. I was talking to the day. I said I, I, I won sixth. I said more season long we can get sixth. And then, but if we didn't, and we end up tenth, obviously I wouldn't be bothered either. No, I'm, definitely I'm, not. 
I'm not saying I wouldn't be bothered. I, I would be gutted a little because it's literally right at the end of the season. I didn't want to let it slip with two games to go on. But listen, it's been an amazing season all year yeah. round. Every single one of them have done absolutely outstanding. And what that's with a team who's been tarnished with injuries. Hounded with injuries. Hounded, you name it, we've been hammered with them. And they've done outstanding. They've all stepped up to the plate, even the young ones who's had next to knee game time whatsoever. So for me, on Saturday, I still think we're going to win. Like, personally. well, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, they've got nothing to play for, so the pressure's on us. Right. Uh, there's going to be a massive crowd there. I think the last time I checked, they were onto the the northwest corner bit of the Premier Concourse. So that means they're creeping round, to, round and round to the to where the away fans are going to be. So I think that's around 44, 45,000 at the minute, and there's still part. There's still there's still two and a bit days to go oh, before I, the game. I, so I hope it's a sellout. Hopefully, it'll be a massive sellout. Um, I hope we've given the away fans a decent allocation as well, because ah, what you didn't you didn't want all the Sunderland fans out and then just a clump and then loads of empty seats around no, them. You know what I mean? Didn't. I can't stand that, mate. I, I, I hope there's more than the two K. What they've been slapping on all the fans. Yeah, they are definitely. There's no need for it. Our stadium's a lot bigger than, than to give them two K. Ah, you know. But uh, hey, and also like, like the play, we know the players are going to be up for it. That was another thing that people were saying. People were saying they do want promotion. Try telling them lads it's on the pitch. It was grafting oh, awesome, and that's fair enough because the players are grafting the bollocks off. How many times we've come from behind this season is actually a credit. Mm. I mean, also how many times we're through we're winning positions. Oh, but hey, God, we'll, we'll not talk <laughs> about them. No, no, no. But I, I understand <laughs> what people start. I think the main like the the hierarchy, the board. I think, yeah. I, I, um, apparently, somebody tweeted out that our finances are not as good according to. Uh, no, that's spec. I'm saying that bollocks. Ah, it's a Somebody's put on. Maybe Sunderland's finances aren't as good as what uh, as what people think because of who we've been linked with. There's a, ah, was that yeah, I think no. was it that what's he called somebody Cullen from Swansea ah, or Cullen. something? I didn't do a video on it. We, we've been linked with Cullen, so oh, we, we, we must be skinned. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe no, that lad's a good player. You never know. Yeah. But, uh, no, I I seen that. It was ridiculous. But hey, uh, but going into the game, like I say, I think the fans will be quite confident. We'll be nervous. But I think we'll be quite confident oh, going in, definitely. and because I, I think we know we know the lads are going to put in a shift. Uh, there'll be, like I said, there's going to be a big crowd there. The, the atmosphere, hopefully, will be brilliant. Um, so where are you going on? Another headache? Who would you go with? That's that, that's right. Uh, thing is, uh, we've got injuries. <laughs> Wait, one or two. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, we've got Nate Bath. We've got Nate Ballard. Um, I think the back line will be the same as what it was. Right. Circa 09 in the middle, Hume and. Um, <laughs> Circle was in the middle and he went when Fulton scored two goals. Oh, yeah, that was outstanding. Yeah, he can deal with you. So, do, I think that every week. <coughs> I hope, I hope Spurs, <coughs> they're getting battered <coughs> week in, week out. They didn't want to buy him back because they've got to buy back lads. Yeah, yeah, they cut off. Yeah. Not, yeah. Even, oh, the, the thing is, that, that must have been the team talk in the second half. Right, back line, right, you've got Onion and Hume and Gooch out wide. Circle, just do what you want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want, mate. Get forward as much as you can. But and, no, I think yeah. it will be, I think it'll be Circle on Onion. Uh, uh, Hume and Gooch out wide. I think it'll be Neil and Mitchell again, and I still think it'll be the. I think it'll be the same forward four. Mm. I think the way they, they played. Um, oh, then again, I'm seeing. Will he start Mitchell? Or Ekwa? Because Ekwa was brilliant. Who was I? Ekwa was brilliant. So then he took him off. So then he took him off. Yeah, maybe, maybe he thinks he's not fit enough. Well, or, uh, you've not heard the rumours that uh, Ballard could be close. Well, we know. Well, he was only out for two, three weeks. Mm. So he will be close. He's in training. I mean, Corey Evans is in training. But he's not written anywhere near ready to come back yet. Um, but like I said, we, we normally always get it wrong anyway. But I was impressed with Ekwa on Sunday. Uh, obviously, I was impressed with Mitchell when he came on. Mitchell won the ball, which started the run for um, Cirque's second goal. And Dan Neil always gives his all and he loves the channel. So, um, <laughs> look, I'm, 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 whatever he plays, I know the lads will be up for it and I know the lads are capable of getting the result. We've had many idiots try to go and throw the line up with the start line up with predicted or even our start line. We've always got it wrong, but Mowbray seems to be getting it right. And even his in-game subs, when we're being like, what's he digging, tapping Gellar in next half? And what kind of happens? To come from behind and win the game. It's absolutely insane how he's getting everything right. Well, that's his job, like. Uh, I know I know what he's thinking, by the way. I know what he's thinking. It's, but we signed him in January. It's now, you know, nearly the end of the season and he's still calling him Geldhart. I but, said hey, Gellar? You said Geldhart. You oh, said it earlier on as well, but I'll let that I'm one slide. I'm not bothered. I'm tacking the L out. I know, you're not bothered. <laughs> no, you know, you, you, you're putting a D in. I'm, I'm putting a D in. <laughs> you didn't put a D in, didn't you? <laughs> But now, uh, <laughs> score predictions. Right. It's still 5 3 to me, it which is. means that if we don't make the playoffs, you cannot win. You, cannot, you, you can only come level with us. But um, I can still draw. You can still draw, and then I'd that'd be a joint punishment. I know, I'd rather see you suffer than just me. Right. 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 Well, seeing as though um, I'm winning, I'm going to go on first. Go on. And I'm, I'm going to go for the good old favourite. Go on then. Sunderland 3 1. 
I've well, got something three one. Because we haven't had a three one all season. It's never ever done you good. And I'm going to go for Sunderland to nil win. I, I say he was keeping a clean sheet, but would have kept a clean sheet if it wasn't for the stupid EFL referee with the diabolical decision to give a penalty. So I'm going to go for two nil this one. On, on Saturday, um, sorry, me and Paul are planning to get to the ground as early as possible. However, my youngest has got a match in Middlesbrough, which is half eleven kickoff. Oh, my. So I'll be rushing and rushing. I'll be. I'll not be rushing. I'll be still be English. But I'm going to be. Uh, <laughs> do you like that? Um, but no, I'll be getting back and I'll be. I'll be around the stadium around two-ish. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there about two. I. Right. It'll be there about two. So you can still go there. See him if you're not there. I'll not be far behind if I. Uh, if I'm not there at the same time. Right. So last home game of the season. Bye. Right, last home league game of the season. Uh, if you want to come on the channel, come and see us. Come and say hello. Right. Right. Um, That's about it. Make the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Oh, and the lads.